Come along with my travel buddy Sammy and I as we do Jupiter, Florida in 48 hours. We will show you a budget friendly place to stay with the perfect location. Two amazing places we ate, things we did including a morning sunrise at the beach, droning the beautiful Jupiter Lighthouse and a visit to the amazing Rolling Rocks Reserve. As well as a little short road trip to Peanut Island, a place I've had on my bucket list for a while. So buckle up and get ready for a whirlwind adventure that promises not just sights and sounds, but an experience that captures the beauty of Jupiter, Florida. Over the years, I've honed my skills in sniffing out some of the best deals available. If you're on the hunt for an incredible hotel deal, don't hesitate to get in touch with our recently launched travel agency division, Vacation Florida Travel. I'll leave the link in the, for you in the description below. On my recent search for the best value to stay under $100 per night in the Jupiter area, I stumbled upon a great value with the La Quinta Inn. The budget hotel does come with a set of realistic expectations. For me, two things top the list, cleanliness and functional hot water. Add to that a friendly staff and commendable customer service and you're in for a treat. Pleased to share that the La Quinta and Jupiter checked all these boxes. What's more, they threw in a delightful full breakfast, which is a rarity at this price point. Since we got to the hotel later in the day and had dinner reservations later in the evening, we decided to head over to check out Du Bois Park which was only a few minutes away. Du Bois Park is a fantastic park with so much going on, from people picnicking and swimming to boats passing by on the Jupiter Inlet. You can even walk on over to the beach via this walkway. You may even be lucky enough to see a manatee or a dolphin swim on by. One of my favorite things to do at Du Bois Park is just watch all the boats flying by out on the inlet. It is also a great spot to see the beautiful Jupiter Lighthouse. If you're all enjoying this video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you have visited Jupiter before, we would love to hear about your experience. So please feel free to leave a comment below. So Sammy and I went back to the hotel to freshen up for our dinner reservations. We enjoyed our evening at Guanabana's, which was just an amazing atmosphere. It felt like we were dining in a tropical rainforest and we had an amazing view right on the water. Here comes our experience. The moment experience. you step foot into Guanabana, you are immediately whisked away into a tropical paradise. With its open air concept, Guanabana allows you to enjoy a meal surrounded by lush landscaping and breathtaking waterfront views. The location is simply unbeatable. Here, guests can arrive by boat and dock right at the restaurant, embracing an experience like no other. Nothing beats enjoying a cocktail in your meal with these amazing waterfront views. Guanabana prioritizes using local ingredients, highlighting the commitment to supporting the Florida community. Sammy and I enjoyed our fresh seafood and delicious shrimp appetizers. In addition to great food and drinks, Guanabana offers live music performances featuring local and regional artists. So come experience the magic of Guanabana as our table awaits and visit our website vacationflorida.tv for more must-visit places in Florida. So after dinner, we called it a night, as we wanted to wake up early to see the sunrise. And what better place to view it than the beach? Living on the west coast of Florida, we get to witness some amazing sunsets on the beach. So when we are on the east coast, we have to catch the incredible sunrises. And although I am so not a morning person, I got my butt up to witness this amazing Jupiter sunrise. So our next thing to do was take a mini road trip down to Peanut Island, which has been on the bucket list for okay, quite okay. some time. So after the beach sunrise, we got some breakfast at the hotel and drove down to Peanut Island, where we caught the ferry to take us over. We had plans to meet up with Rapid RPM Jet Ski Rentals. I'm not gonna lie, we didn't get to experience the crystal clear blue waters like you see on Instagram all the time, as the tides and the weather were not in our favor this day. But we still had a great time exploring what the island had to offer. Keenan Island is a popular spot for boating, with many people anchoring their boats offshore to enjoy a day at the island. So we made it here to our second stop. We are in Keenan Island. Oh, I'm trying to play above water here. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> So, we're here at uh, Peanut Island, our second stop, I guess. We took the shuttle over 25 bucks. Get you over here. Honestly, from um, where you take the ferry, it looks like you can swim, swim over here, but uh, it's so close. But it takes you up to the opposite side of the island. 
which is where we are now. So pretty cool. And so we met up with Rapid RPM Rentals, who offer a convenient jet ski rental service on the island. So if you're interested in jet skiing around the island, check out their website to make plans. We recommend making an appointment, but if you are on the island and don't have one, you still can rent based on availability. Just look out for the rapid RPM rental flags on the jet skis to find them. I took out my drone to try and catch Sammy on the jet ski, but wasn't able to get the best footage. It was very windy and I was getting wind warnings, so I was a little nervous flying. So I didn't get the best drone shots I was hoping for, but here you can see the island from the sky. Did you know there was a bunker built on Penan Island in 1960 as a top secret nuclear bomb shelter for President John F. Kennedy, who frequently visited Palm Beach, which is not far from the island. The facility was designed to protect the president and his top aides from potential nuclear attacks during his visits to Florida. There are several bathroom facilities and picnic areas on the island, and you can even make plans to tent camp on the island. I will put that information down below. Penan Island is renowned for its recreational opportunities. Visitors can enjoy activities like snorkeling, swimming, and picnicking. The clear waters surrounding the island are home to vibrant marine life, making it a haven for snorkelers and marine enthusiasts. As we were leaving to go back to the hotel, Sammy and I had to stop and taste these delicious coconuts, lo located right before the parking lot for the ferry. Now that we crossed Penan Island off the bucket list, we're ready to go back to the hotel and get ready for dinner, which was an amazing experience at another gem of a restaurant, the Lucky Shuck. So enjoy our experience at the Lucky Shuck and make sure you put them on your restaurant list. Sammy and I hit the restaurant jackpot again on our second night in Jupiter with another gem. The Lucky Shuck delivered in every possible way. Everything was top notch from the food and drinks to the atmosphere and our exceptional server Lydia. I must say the drink cocktails were simply delicious. You probably can guess from the name, the real MVP of Lucky Shucks are their oysters. We were able to get up close and watch them shuck the oysters, pretty cool. Not everyone finds the taste and texture of oysters appealing or maybe an acquired taste, but as you can see here, Sammy and I acquired that taste. But fear not, if you're not a fan of oysters, the Lucky Shucks has a wide variety of delicious food on their menu. We also enjoyed blackened barbecue shrimp and mussels, which were so delicious. The Lucky Shuck offers both indoor and outdoor seating with amazing waterfront views of one of the most beautiful lighthouses in Florida. So check out the Lucky Shuck. Your table awaits. So on our last day, we spent time capturing to what I think is the MVP of Jupiter, and that is the Jupiter Lighthouse. I think it's probably one of the nicest lighthouses in all of Florida. The Jupiter Lighthouse is listed on the National Register of Historic Places since 1973. The lighthouse stands 108 feet tall. The light flashes every 30 seconds and can be seen up to 24 nautical miles. You will see in some of the drone shots, they are currently doing a lot of construction work over by the bridge as they are building a brand new bridge. I will let you enjoy the views from above and see you at our last and final stop, which is Blowing Rock Preserve. So we spent the final hours in Jupiter taking in the beauty of Blowing Rocks Preserve. 
Although I didn't get a chance to drone, unfortunately, but that just gives me an excuse to go back. The walkway at Blowing Rocks Preserve offers a unique experience walking onto the beach. The preserve is most famous for its limestone shoreline, which waves crash against the rocks, sometimes causing water to spout up through the holes in the rocks, creating a blowing rock effect. We wish we could have spent more time and explored blowing rocks. We didn't get the experience the high tide splashing on the rocks, but I would leave you here to enjoy the rest of the footage we captured at Blowing Rocks Preserve. If you have any questions or comments about staying in Jupiter, please feel free to reach out as we would love to help plan your vacation. And we hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one.